स्टूडेंट्स गुड डे एवरी वन वेलकम टू एडवोकेट बापू साहेब बोंडे हाई स्कूल टूडे वी हैव वन एक्साइटिंग टॉपिक ऑफ सब्जेक्ट टी वी एस चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेंटी वन वॉटर एंड एयर पेज नंबर एटी फोर सो लेट स्टार्ट बट बिफोर वी स्टार्ट अ लेसन वी विल टॉक अबाउट वॉटर सो चिल्ड्रन सो स्टूडेंट्स The planet we live on, it is known as the blue planet because, as much as third fourth of the planet surface is water, and water is so very important because without it there would be no life. Without it, these animals wouldn't exist. or these playful bears or not even us the human beings so that is why, that is why we must look after it we should save our water well and most of all we must maintain our rivers and oceans clean now we will read our chapter which is chapter number 21 water and air water water is necessary for us to live we get water from rain rivers lakes ponds wells springs and seas rain is the main source of water Let us understand the water cycle through four steps simple steps First the sun's heat evaporates the water from the seas rivers lakes oceans and plants the water rises up in the air in the form of water vapor second the water vapor rises higher in the air and cools down it condenses into water droplets forming clouds in the sky third when too much water gets collected in the clouds they get heavier and fall back to the earth in the form of the of rain the fourth rain water seeps into the ground and flows back into water bodies like seas rivers oceans and lakes this is called the water cycle rain water flows down the mountains as streams and rivers so students do you know water is so important for us to live and for where do we get water from we get water from rain rivers lakes ponds wells springs and seas yes so rain is the main source of water so students did you know water never stands still but it always in constant movement even though at time it doesn't seems like it this water movement is what is called the water cycle okay so now let's learn more about it about water cycle in four steps the sun's heat evaporates the water from the seas rivers lakes oceans and plants so children here plants also lose water in the form of water vapor from their leaves into the air yes so when the sun shine they heat up the sun warms the water turning it into the invisible gas called water vapor this process the changing of water into a gas is called evaporation because gas is lighter than liquid 
water vapor rises up into the sky the water rises in the air in the form of water vapors then they further moves up into the way from the earth surface due to the temperature of gas so the water vapors rises higher in the air and cools down it condenses into water droplets forming clouds in the sky so in the sky the water vapors cools and changes back into the tiny droplets this changes of water vapor into water droplets it's called condensation so this process is called condensation so when too much water gets collected in the clouds they get heavier and fall back to the earth in the form of water so children it is the opposite evaporation clouds are made up with tiny water droplets so when condensation happens in the sky clouds form and grow the droplets come together and form even bigger drops when the drops get heavy they fall down on the ground now we will see again this video about water cycle when the sun warms the water on the earth surface it evaporates converting itself into water vapor or steam so this stage first stage is called and also known as evaporation and when the water convert in vapor it rises toward the atmosphere then cools down transforming itself into clouds this second stage of its it called condensation so the water has condensed it and turn into a clouds clouds are actually tiny little drops of water moves by the air but when the clouds grow they collected more and more water these water drops then crash into each other and become bigger drops of water then at the same some point they falling to the ground in the form of rain so the water which fall to the ground so this rain water seep into the ground all this water must continue it long journey converting large amount of distances it finally reaches the sea now this rain water seeps into the ground and flow back into water bodies like seas rivers oceans and lakes this is called water cycle rain water flows down the mountain as streams and rivers so this is a streams and it rivers it flow downs the rain waters flows down the mountain as streams and rivers so thank you children i hope you understood this rain cycle very well please practice at home please subscribe our channel like and share and hit the bell icon thank you